In this video, we're going to take a look at a value problem that deals with stamps that each have a value attached to them. We are told that a man has a collection of stamps made up of 5 cent stamps and 8 cent stamps. There are three times as many 8 cent stamps as 5 cent stamps, and the total value of all the stamps is $3.48. How many of each stamp does he have? We're going to organize all of our information in our little value table, where we take the number of each item times the value of each item to get a total value in those items. Here we have 5 cent stamps and 8 cent stamps. In this problem, we are told that there are three times as many 8 cent stamps as 5 cent stamps. We don't know anything about the number of 5 cent stamps. Let's call it F for 5 cent stamps. But we are told there are three times as many 8 cent stamps. To get three times as many, we have to multiply the number of 5 cent stamps by 3. And so we get 3F for the number. Notice in this problem, we only have one variable, F and 3F. The value given to each 5 cent stamp is 5, and the value given to each 8 cent stamp is 8. To calculate our total value, we multiply 5 times F to get 5F, and 3F times 8 to get 24F. We are also given a total of 348. This is the total values, so let's put it at the bottom of the total values of 348. Notice this is written in cents, because on the 5 cent stamp and 8 cent stamp values, we also expressed those in cents. Because we only have one variable, we also only need one equation. This comes from the only column that's got a total on it, 5F plus 24 F's is equal to 348. We can start solving by combining like terms to get 29 F equals 348. We can quickly solve this equation by dividing both sides by 29, and we find out the number of 5 cent stamps is 12. This is the number of 5 cent stamps that we're looking for. We've got that. We still need the number of 8 cent stamps. Notice 8 cent stamps are said to be 3F, or 3 times 12. Therefore, the number of 8 cent stamps must be 36. We have 12 5 cent stamps. I'll say 12 at 5 cents each, and 36 at 8 cents each, which gives us the total value of $3.48. Because we knew the relationship of the 8 cent stamps, we did not need a second variable. Instead, we just multiplied the 8 cent stamps, or the 5 cent stamps by 3 to get 3 times as many 8 cent stamps.